lovely, lovely imps. I watched Nimona yesterday. For those of you who don't know, let me see if I can get the movie pi uh, poster for you. Nimona is a new animation that was uh, recently uh, published by Annapurna Pictures, which was really surprising to me. Um, I didn't know that Annapurna was in the movie business now. They're the people who published, um, uh, not Echoes of the Eye, uh, The Outer Wilds. Um, which is a really, really, really amazing and beautiful game. I didn't know they were doing this. Now it was, um, it was, it, it's a movie based on a novel, uh, by N.D. Stevenson, um, who some of you will probably know. N.D. Stevenson is, is, uh, is, is pretty well known in these spaces. Uh, Nimona here, let me get that, let me get that image for you so you guys can all feast your eyes on the cute, the extremely cute and, and charming cover of the film. Here's the cover of the film. A little ante, a little hero. And here you go. You got our guy, you got our main character, Nimona. Um, yeah, the showrunner for She-Ra. Yeah. They published Stray as well. Yep. Um, I watched Nimona yesterday and I really, really, really liked it. I really liked it like a lot. I think it's really, really good. Um, not only is the 3D animation r extremely charming, uh, it has this, it has a lot of quirk, which I imagine that, that like high quirk TV shows can get under some people's skin, but I assure you, give it a chance anyway, because they really put their love into, uh, into that. Uh, the, the characters are very, uh, they're, they're extremely blobby. They're, they're, uh, they go like, uh, I guess off model, like a lot. They go like, they make like lots of weird faces and they change a lot. Uh, and it's, it's really impressive. Um, and the cool thing about Nimona, and I don't want to get into too many spoilers here. I just want to give a little review for it. Um, but, uh, it's, and actually, not not kidding you, an actually unapologetically queer show in more ways than one, okay? To the degree that apparently Disney, like, stepped away from it because they were too uncomfortable with how much queerness was in it. Um, it made me really happy to be able to watch a show uh, that is like, and it is, it is definitely, like, targeted towards, like, young teens, it would be my guess, is who this, like this movie is like mostly targeted at um but like a like a, a f basically a family friendly animation that is so unapologetically queer and it really really is um the movie opens with the unequivocal establishment of a gay relationship which is something that basically no animation will ever do um they just don't. They just, in most animations uh, will simply never do that. If there is going to be any sort of uh, gay people in it, it will be a very quick uh, aside later in the film because they don't want to offend people. But this movie does not care. It opens, like I said, unapologetically with a gay relationship, and that is really amazing. And uh, it, there's not just one. There's actually multiple throughout the film. Um, but what, what's even what's even better about that aspect of the film uh, is that the queer messaging um, isn't just a prop uh, in this film. Um, let me try and explain the basic summary of the movie. The summary of the movie is that uh, the world's first commoner knight, uh, a, a, a person who it was not born into nobility has been has has risen to knighthood and uh on on the night of the uh, uh of their knighthood the night of their knighthood on the in the on the ceremony of their knighthood they are framed for a terrible crime and shortly afterwards they make friends with a uh weird street urchin by the name of Nimona and this this sort of disgraced knight and this weird street urchin by the name of Nimona uh, are sort of forced to rely on each other in order to survive. Um, they don't get along very well at first, although Nimona is certainly trying. Um, uh, 
Uh, but you know, throughout the course of the film, uh, they have a a, a very uh, they have a very uh, combative relationship that slowly leads them to understand one another. And the thing about Nimona uh, is that uh, she is a shapeshifter. Uh, that is like like advertised on the thing. So I'm not spoiling anything. Nimona is capable of just like changing her shape at will, basically. And uh, that aspect of her character becomes a vehicle for so much commentary, not just queer commentary, but basically any, it, 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 they do such a good job of making her just sort of intrinsic ability to change shape become uh, uh, a, uh, uh, a, a metaphor for so many types of, of societal marginalization that exist in a way that I think is most films that do this type of thing do not succeed at. Um, there are a lot of movies that make attempts to talk, to comment on, uh, on social issues like this, but this movie really goes there. Uh, and it goes there because, um, <laughs> because like I said, it's unapologetic. It doesn't have to pretend, uh, that, that it's talking about anything else. The movie is talking about the way that people treat people who are different. It is talking about a society. The society that they live in is, uh, extremely rigid. It has, uh, a, uh, a, a sort of obsession with fear of the outside. Um, uh, the fear of people who are different. It is a highly conformist society. Um, and, that becomes the main, the, the core struggle of the film. And it's really impressive uh, uh, in the way that it decides to tackle this. Um, and it also doesn't come off as preachy because like I said, they just decided to tell a story that's about that unapologetically. So instead of getting like these sort of like saccharine speeches about uh, the way that you're supposed to act, the movie just sort of demonstrates that. Um, and I really like it. I think it's really impressive. Um, throughout the film, there is, uh, there is a, a tension, uh, on, on sort of trying to understand, one of the characters is trying to constantly understand, uh, why, uh, Nimona is abnormal and abnormal. And that is, it is handled so well. I, I just have to say, you got to see the movie because I think it does like, it communicates like how that, how that sort of, uh, otherwise seemingly, um, innocent curiosity. Well, why are you different? Becomes something malignant in the certain context in a society that is constantly, um, angry at and distrustful towards uh, others and distrustful towards any sort of difference or, um, uh, you know, that actively cultivates disgust towards certain types of difference. Um, it actually stomps out the ability for there to be healthy communication between people and healthy curiosity about differences between one another because all, uh, um, all, uh, all differences have to be filtered through the lens of what is normal and approved and what is disapproved and abnormal. Um, it deals with slurs. It deals with uh, well-meaning but but hurtful uh, uh, loved ones. It deals with uh, with isolation uh, from being different. It deals with uh, with 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 pride in your identity. Um, in the face of adversity. It is a really impressive film and I really like it. It's actually ex just an extremely fun film on top of all of that. Um, uh, Wild Hawk with the incredibly generous $5 super chat says, the commoners in Nimona straight up act like Americans on a steady conservative media diet. Yes, that's actually a big part of the movie. Um, a lot of the like jokes and ga and 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 gags in the movie are based around the media that is consumed by the people in the in the in the movie. And I don't want to spoil too much, but let's just say that uh, uh, 
it, it is a a my a sl only it only needs to slightly cartoonify the American media diet in order for it to br drive its point home. Uh, for example, there is an obsession uh, with uh, combat in all of the types of media that are consumed in this society, and it's constantly reinforced. Everything from commercials to toys to video games, even to like. Uh, children's amusement park rides are sort of themed around the uh, the fear of the other, even even in in what would otherwise be uh, seemingly innocuous ways. It does a very very good job of critiquing the sort of a, a spe especially American media diet. Um, yeah, it was uh, it was very good. Uh, and not only that, not only do I think that the messaging is great and that the writing is fun, but it's legitimately extremely funny. Um, again, it's a very quirky movie, but not in a kind of, oh, well, that happened. It's like, it act, there's actually like a lot, there's a lot of jokes. There's a lot of visual gags. There's an incredible amount of care uh, going into every single scene in the movie. And... Uh, they really just pack it full of fun uh, animation, and I really, really liked it. I gotta say, it's um, it's one of my favorite animations I've seen in a long time. Uh, I I want to say like there are there is there are some comparisons to be made uh, to uh, to well maybe 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 this is a little too high praise but i wanted to draw some comparisons to avatar the last airbender avatar the last airbender is in my opinion like perhaps the best animated uh children's series and it's a show that can be enjoyed um a lot by adults um even though it's clearly designed to uh to to sort of teach children most of the messages are are aimed at children understanding things um, and Avatar The Last Airbender does this really good job of, of taking really serious and, and potentially, uh, emotionally distressing topics, uh, and not shying away from them while still making them understandable to a child, to a, you know, young audience. And I think Nimona does a good job on that for, uh, queer issues. Um, while there's not as much of, like, queer issues... Uh, there are some, but not as much in Avatar The Last Airbender. Nimona takes that sort of thing. Avatar The Last Airbender, for the record, for those who aren't familiar with it, deals with uh, death, war, genocide, uh, racial discrimination, caste discrimination, um, uh, uh, class discrimination, uh, uh, nationalism, um, and and uh, parental abuse. These are some of the big... The big extremely emotionally distressing themes that are handled throughout the entirety of Avatar The Last Airbender. And of course, Nimona is just a single film. It's not a whole TV series, so it doesn't have as much room to breathe. However, uh, it very directly addresses some otherwise incredibly distressing topics in a way that is um, not distressing, in a way that makes it understandable to a younger audience. While Avatar is aimed, I think, a little bit younger than uh, than a movie like Nimona. Nimona is, like I said, I would guess it's probably aimed at, like, young teenagers. Um, I think it does a phenomenal job of tackling those issues without, like, without looking the other way. It doesn't pretend that there's, like, uh, not bad things going on. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't go quite as far as Avatar, but uh, it still does a really good job with that. Um, if I was going to rate it, uh, I would... I mean, I don't know. I don't, don't. I don't usually do ratings, but I would say I would give it like maybe a four, maybe like a four point two five, uh, would be my rating overall. I think it's a very good movie, um, really, really strong, uh, incredibly entertaining. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe my, uh, I don't know. Maybe my only complaint would be certain aspects of the soundtrack, uh, but otherwise, really, yeah, out of five, out of five, yeah, out of five. See, this is why I don't use number scales. <laughs> um. But yeah, I think it's a I think it's a really fantastic film, and I highly recommend you to go see it. I I would really love to hear what my viewers have to think have to say about Nimona. I know I have a lot of queer people in my audience. I have a lot of trans people, a lot of gay people, a lot of non-binary people in my audience, and I know a lot of you have seen Nimona because a ton of people have recommended it. So if you have thoughts about Nimona, 
uh, when when this goes up as a video, please put your comments down below because I would love to read those and hear what people think about it. Critical or praise, either way. Um, regardless, I really do recommend it. It's a it's a uh, it's about two hours, so it's a very easy watch, and you will have a fun time with it. Like I said, the animation is a blast. It's incredibly funny. It's in, uh, it's got a uh, a very it's got a very upbeat tone throughout the movie. Um, oh, and the vo oh, I should say, and the voice acting is phenomenal. That's another thing I didn't even mention. The voice acting is like top notch. All of the actors were putting their all uh, into the into the roles, and I really recommend it. Again, the movie is Nimona. Uh, it's a fairly new movie uh, based on the comic written by N.D. Stevenson, um, who also was uh, the showrunner for the new She-Ra show. Um, and, uh, I, I really, really think people would, would appreciate it. It's on Netflix, so it's pretty easy to watch. Um, and yeah, yeah. So, uh, I highly recommend Nimona. I'd give it about a 4.25 out of five, a uh, very top notch animation. Uh, uh, it handles queer themes really, really well. Does not make any apologies for its gay characters. Uh, it is totally unapologetic about having gay characters, which is a, so refreshing to see, um, given that in American media, gay characters are basically relegated to adult media only, or, uh, or, or else it has to be basically entirely hidden, um, um, which sucks. And uh, Nimona doesn't care and tells you, I should also say, I don't want to spoil too much because the, this is like a, a core part of the plot, but... Uh, some pretty amazing just general political uh, approach as well. Um, I was not expecting a movie that was, I'll just say I was not expecting the movie to be so uh, radical in its interpretation of general politics. Um, the vision of the world that Nimona, that Nimona puts forward is not one that plays nice with authority and it is not one that plays ni nice with uh, sort of like uh, austere proceduralism. I'll just put it at that, okay? Uh, my anarcho friends uh, might appreciate this film more than they expected. I certainly did. So I recommend Nimona. Please go check it out. And if you like this review, please subscribe to my channel. I do media reviews all the time, as well as a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm a bit of a political leaning variety channel. Talk about media all the time, video games, movies, and of course I talk about political topics. Uh, so subscribe down below and please tell me your thoughts on uh, Nimona in the comments. See y'all later.